Hey everybody, this is Grayson from iMarkInteractive.com. Uh, today I'm going to answer a question that uh, many people have been posting on Facebook or sending us emails about, and that is how you deal with uh, Gutenberg and your old posts. So uh, Gutenberg uh, dropped in WordPress 5.0 on December 6th. It is the new uh, post editor. Um, if you check out our site or check out our YouTube channel, you'll see that we have uh, a video about the editor that we created uh, when we were doing the demo. Um, if you have been using it for some time like myself, it's really not that bad. It's a pretty good editor if you get to understand it, but it is very different from the current or the old now uh, classic editor. Uh, everything's... Uh, used together in blocks and it takes uh, quite a bit of getting used to so uh, I figured I would show you today how to convert an old post that you wrote in the classic editor and convert it into Gutenberg blocks so um, you'll see that we have a demo site that we set up um, that we were actually using for our understanding CSS course and uh, this is still running on 4.9.8 so I'm actually going to update it uh, to 5.0, and then I'm going to convert um, a post that we have in there into Gutenberg blocks. So uh, let's get started with updating to WordPress 5.0. The first step that you want to do before you update to anything, it uh, doesn't matter if it's WordPress 5.0 or if it's just plugins, uh, you're going to want to make sure you do a backup of your site. We use and recommend Updraft Plus. Uh, this is a great free plugin and you can hook it up to an external source like Dropbox or Google Drive to send your um, send your items off-site. So uh, ours is actually hooked up to Amazon S3 and we have it running automatically but I'm just gonna hit backup now. I'm not gonna send it to my remote storage because that'll take a little bit of time. So we're gonna back up everything and it's basically gonna run and um, Luckily, this is a very small site, so it's already done. So basically, once you're ready to go, you can hit the uh, Please Update Now, or you can do it from the Updates page, uh, however you feel. Um, if you have the uh, automatic backup system with Updraft Plus, you can do this, where it'll automatically back up when you hit the Update button. But since we just backed up, we don't really need to do that. So I'm going to update this site to WordPress 5.0, which will include Gutenberg. And basically, everything in 5.0 looks exactly the same, except for the new editor. So um, please check out our other video. I'll put the link in the comments um, to see how the editor works. Uh, this post is just going to show you, or this video is just going to show you how we uh, convert an old post that we wrote in Classic into Gutenberg block. So we're going to go to um, all posts. We, uh, we kind of wrote this post by taking a post from our other site about no follows. So what happens uh, what happens when you go into a post that you wrote in classic editor is that everything is in one large classic block. You'll see it up here. This block is just like Classic Editor. So you can edit your items in this one big block, which you know will work just fine. Um, it, it gives you the exact same, uh, or pretty close to the exact same uh, format and feel of the current Classic Editor. But where the power of Gutenberg lies is in the block setup. And usually, uh, blocks are for every element and every paragraph. So it's a little bit different editing in here than it would be editing in Gutenberg. Luckily, they have made it quite easy to convert your content inside of a classic box to blocks. So all you have to do is go to the three vertical buttons, uh, dots, when you're in the box. So you click that and they have all these options and you can just hit convert to blocks and just like that this system is smart enough to realize each element as long as there isn't you know 
weird CSS wrapped around it if you copied and pasted it from uh, Google Draw, you know, Google Word or Word or any like you know uh, anything like that, which might add some weird, strange stuff. So now you can see as we hover over, each one is its own separate block, and that's the power of Gutenberg. So now you can literally, uh, you know, if I want to move this this uh, this image down, I could do that. Uh, you can also grab it and pull it down. Um, I like the I like to move up and move down. It's a little bit easier, uh, depending on if you have a lot of text. But it gives you um, all these different elements for for different items. You can you know change the image size. Um, this I wouldn't recommend. So you basically uh, reset it and it'll keep it in there. If you if you do this, it's kind of strange on how it tries to push it to the actual full size of the image. Um, I think that might be a slight bug. You can deal with all these items um, by themselves in regards to here's the title tags. Uh, each of these are paragraphs. Um, and if you didn't know, you can view the HTML by hitting edit as HTML. And you can see how each block has its HTML. Um, you can edit visually. So this is why I actually like Gutenberg is it gives each block its own control. So before when you had to do, uh, you know, you had to put some code in. It was very difficult because you had to switch the entire editor from visual to text, and sometimes it would strip the HTML or JavaScript that you put in uh, when you moved it back and forth. So this is why this is um, this is a little bit more advanced and, and something that I, I really enjoy. But it's really as simple as that to change a post over into blocks. It's really just a button click. And then all you do is hit update. And your post will look basically the same as it did before. Uh, there's really no difference in the layout here on the front end, which uh, makes it really nice. So that's how you you change a old post that you created in Classic Editor into Gutenberg blocks. If you guys have any questions about this, you can reach out to us at imarkinteractive.com, or you can answer or. Put something in the comments or you can reach out to us on Facebook.